Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm bringing you some League of Legends gameplay. But it, once again, it's not about the gameplay; it's about Microsoft's big announcement. It's about how Microsoft has listened to its customers and stopped sucking. Yes. All right. Basically, Microsoft reversed everything. Their DRM, lending games, everything became better. It's it's well, it's the same it was, which is better than what it was going to be. <laughs> Microsoft listened to us, and they decided that. They were going to keep things the same. No DRM, except for, obviously, the publishers can still choose. Um, no uh, restrictions to lending out games. N and no restrictions on used games anymore. So, it's just great. And, and, and yet, this is the big one. You do not have to log in every 24 hours. You can play offline now. I, I even have a quote right here from Don Matrick. The, the, it's the same guy who said, if you don't want to buy an Xbox One, just get a 360. Same guy who said that. And he said... You told us how much you loved the flexibility you have today with games delivered on disc. The ability to lend, share, and resell these games at your discretion is of incredible importance to you. Also important to you is the freedom to play offline for any length of time anywhere in the world. And that last bit, entitled to the whole region lock, they said it's not going to be region locked anymore. So anywhere in the world, so yes. Those people who live where Xbox sells for about twice as much as it does somewhere else, go somewhere else and get the Xbox. They said they're not going to re region locked it anymore. So, yes, Microsoft, this is just what you're supposed to do. And um, I know it's maybe a little late because, I mean, after E3 and stuff, but still got five months before the council's release, so there's plenty of time to get those pre-order numbers back up because, honestly, Sony was killing these guys when it came to pre-order numbers. Well, also, this uh, seems really good news for... Microsoft, but really bad news for the other companies, because I feel like the other companies were really feeding off of Microsoft's failures, failures, so the other companies now have to step up their games. So hopefully they will step up their game. Maybe PS4 will announce some new way to let your mind just be in the game or something. I don't know. But like I said, how do you guys think this is? Do you think it's a little late? Do you think Microsoft will be able to pull this off? Do you think they're messing with us? And also, you got to ask this question. EA gave up the online pass. When Microsoft announced the whole DRM thing, I thought that was why EA gave up the online pass, because they could do it without it. So the question now is, the publishers that Microsoft, that were actually happy that Microsoft were doing the DRM, what, what's up with them? Are they going to um, stop their partnership with Microsoft, or is Microsoft going to have to do something for them? Because think of it, I mean, if these publishers expected DRM on the console, and they wanted to use DRM on their games, and then Microsoft is going to be like, oh, you can't do it anymore, at least not online these publishers are going to be pretty pissed at Microsoft. I'm naming EA because I kind of assumed when EA dropped the online pass, that's why they dropped it, because they were going to be able to use the um, online thing to stop people from buying the game used and playing it. Other than that, I had... Um, so, what do you guys think? Do you guys think the publishers are going to be mad? Do you guys think Microsoft is really going to be able to pull this off? Because if the publishers... Without the publishers, you, there can be no counsel. So, anyway, other than that... I'm glad that Microsoft did this. I'm glad that they finally came to their senses and was like, all right, we're going to give the people what they want because really, they beforehand, it was not looking good for them. So do you guys think this is a little late? Do you guys think that the PS4, that whole $100 thing still has a gap? Still, still gives the PS4 this big jump? Do you guys think that paying $500 for the Xbox now is actually worth it? Tell me what you guys think in the, in the comment below. I mean, I really would like to read some comments and get a good discussion going about this because personally I think that I'm not buying either council yet because I don't like to pay more than $300 for a council. I'm cheap. So I'm probably just going to get the Wii U since I could get that for $300 and and uh, and I'll just get the other two councils later when they're, or one of the other two councils at least, maybe when they're much cheaper because 500 and 400 anything above 300 to me is a little bit much for a council. Because it's just, I mean, for a council? Oh, well, y'all tell me y'all thoughts. Y'all think $500 is reasonable now that Xbox has dropped all the restrictions? Y'all think that maybe they should just drop the connect and drop the price? Um, that's personally what I think, because truth be told, I think that $500 is, with, is because the connect is bundled. The problem is uh, that would mean they would have to drop the whole having to have the connect connected. So, other than that, what do y'all think about this? Do y'all think Microsoft is now the greatest company ever? 
Or do you all think that Sony is somehow still above them and even that now that their um, whole DRM stuff will work the same, no DRM for either system, do you think that um, Sony is still slightly above because of that price or because of other features? Tell me your thoughts. Leave me them. Thank you. This is once again repeating Frenzy91. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and God bless.